Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Eva. If you're not new here, thank you so, so much for returning. It is truly appreciated. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a car freshie using a silicone mold. These are them, these are from Stay Fresh with Peanut. They're super cute and I'm super excited to show you guys how to use these. So when I started making car freshies, I don't even think silicone molds were a thing. That was about two and a half years ago. Cookie cutters are still awesome to use. I still sell plenty of freshies using cookie cutters. Using a silicone mold is a little more detailed and the freshies have the opportunity to be a lot more prettier, a lot more decorative. So if that's something you're interested in learning how to do, please sure to continue to watch. If you do not know how to make car freshies, I do have a full tutorial on my channel. I will link it down below. So if you guys don't even know where to start, I recommend checking out that video. If you learn anything in this video, please give this video a like, comment down below any questions and subscribe if you want to and let's just get right into the video. So the first thing that I do is preheat my oven to 350 since it takes a little while. Then we grab our baking pan and our freshy silicone molds. Just by looking at these molds, I can tell that they're going to be very time consuming to decorate just because of all those small little details in them, but I'm excited to try them out and see how it goes. I will be explaining how to use these molds the best that I can. If I miss anything, please let me know in the comments. So the first thing that I do is grab my cured aroma beads. I'm using the scent Sex on the Beach. I've been doing this for a while, so I already know about how much beads to use, but you're gonna put some beads in your little baggie or container, and then you're gonna add your mica powder, and you're gonna shake very, very well. When using mica powder, a little goes a long way, so you don't wanna put too much because then they will not bake thoroughly all the way through. Also, adding too much mica powder can throw off your scent, so you wanna start off with adding a little bit and then add more if needed. This neon yellow is from Stay Fresh with Peanut and the hot pink is from Amazon. I'll link them both down below. Look at those amazing colors. This part is optional, but then I'm gonna grab some fine glitter and sprinkle it into my mold. I'm using a neon pink and a neon yellow. When using silicone molds, fine glitter works best because the chunky glitter can prevent your beads from going into those little spaces and creases that are needed. Then I put my nail in place and I start pouring in my aroma beads. I'm doing like an ombre effect, so it's okay that it doesn't look perfect. That's the look I'm going for. Then you wanna fill up your silicone mold either halfway or all the way to the top. It all depends how thick you want your freshy, but please do note that the more beads you put, the longer it is going to take to bake. So I fill mine all the way to the top. That's why I do 16 minutes. You're gonna have to see what works best for you. Then I grab a nail and I do an up and down motion to give it that ombre effect that I'm looking for. Then we're gonna move that tray out of the way and then we're gonna repeat the process for the sandal freshy. We're gonna grab our aroma beads. We're going to color them. I am using, again, mica powder from Stay Fresh with Peanut and the neon green is from Amazon. I love all of the neon mica powders. They're so beautiful. So you wanna shake very, very well. I had to put too much mica powder in the orange. So if you put too much mica powder, you can always add more beads. That's always worked best for me. Now we're ready to pour our beads into our sandal silicone mold. So I grab some gold fine glitter, pour that in there, move it around. And then I start pouring my beads. I am also doing an ombre effect. So I'm gonna start with orange on the top and then neon green on the bottom. And then again with my nail, I'll do that up and down motion. The nail just helps me get that super beautiful ombre effect that I'm looking for. So I really, really like that method. This is them ready to be baked and look at that beautiful ombre effect. I'm obsessed. Everyone's oven is different. So time and temperature will vary when baking a freshy in a silicone mold. I do 350 degrees for 16 minutes, but like I said, every oven is different. So for your first tries, I would definitely watch it. Make sure you don't over bake it. And I will show you guys what it looks like when it's done so you guys can know when it's ready. So 350 for 16 minutes is what works for me. So we'll let that bake and then we'll let them cool and I will be back to show you guys how to decorate it. Okay guys, so I just took my freshies out of the oven after 16 minutes. This is exactly what you want them to look like. The beads are no longer in the shape of a circle. You can tell they're very melted into the mold. So I filled mine to the top and you can tell that they drastically went down. So that means that the beads have melted really well into the mold. So now we're gonna let these cool completely. You want them to cool down completely because the freshy can lose its shape. So I'm gonna wait another 10 to 15 minutes to let these completely cool. 
So now that they're completely cooled down, this is my favorite and most satisfying part, which is taking the freshie out of the mold. Just by looking at this, I can tell that this is a good freshie. It was melted very, very well. It got all of the little details. That is what you're looking for because it makes it easier to decorate. To get the nail out, I just press down and it slides right out super easy. Now we're going to demold the sandal. And again, it came out super beautiful. All the detail is there. This is exactly what you're looking for. They both came out amazing. Let me know what y'all think about these in the comments. I am obsessed with the colors that I used on the turtle. Okay, now for decorating, I use puff paint. You can find this at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any craft store. I decided to start with the sandal. I started putting puff paint into the flowers and I could already tell right off the bat that it was gonna be difficult to work with just because the flowers were kind of dipped in, if that makes sense. So I just did the best that I could and I continued to put puff paint where I wanted it. And then I said, time for the glitter. And I don't know why I chose the color yellow, but once I started pouring it down, I was like, oh no, this does not go well, but I'm gonna gonna trust the process I just continued then I started putting the puff paint for the green leaves this part was pretty time consuming but it wasn't too bad you just have to take your time I was getting paint where it wasn't needed and I was just using my nail to remove it so this is how the sandal came out so far I really do not like it but I'm gonna try to fix it here in a little bit so let's move on to the turtle I cannot get over how beautiful this turtle came out so for this one I decided to use the black puff paint to get all of the little details I felt like the black would make the neon pink and neon yellow stick out so here I am just trying my best to get every single little detail. This was super time consuming to do, but I promise the end result is so worth it. I like these puff paint bottles because they're easy to work with and easy to get little detail even though it does take a little while. It was getting hard for me to record and make sure I got every single spot so I moved under my ring light so I could see all those little details very very well and this made it go a lot faster so use a light if you have one look how beautiful this one came out you guys i'm so obsessed with it look at those colors this was very tedious to do but i love the outcome overall even though it is very time consuming so make sure you price them correctly know your worth here i am putting some light on it let me know what y'all think about this one in the comments okay guys back to the sandal i was not feeling the yellow so i decided to redo that i just added some more puff paint and decided to add gold glitter instead of yellow i liked it a little better and off camera i added some black lining and some white centers to try to make those flowers stand out i like this one better than how it looked at the beginning so let me know what y'all think and here's the finished product of both of these freshy silicone molds i think they're pretty pretty cute even though i was having trouble with the sandal okay guys that's my way of making a freshie using a silicone mold as you can tell the process is very tedious especially when the molds have small details like these these were very time consuming to make. I was having a little difficulty with the sandal just because they had so many small details. It was very hard to do the paint and then the glitter. So very time consuming. I recommend practicing a lot. It will help you. This was my first time doing these two molds. So like I said, I was struggling with this one, but overall I think they both came out super cute. Let me know what y'all think about them in the comments. Again, if you have any questions, please be sure to drop them down below. Give this video a like if you learned anything or if you just enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!